Hello there, I'm Dazro, and I'm here today with another video, this time a let's play of The Sims, but with a bit of a twist. As I've put in the title of the video, I'm going to be playing as the characters from Doctor Who. Why not? See, I recently made a machinima film within The Sims, which was a parody of Doctor Who. I am totally beyond the realms of your fucking tousle-haired, fucking dim-witted, compra fucking henshin. And then I thought, why not actually try playing the game as a domesticated doctor? This is their apartment. They live in Bridgeport, which is the urban city in the game, and you have skyscrapers and apartments and everything. Let's have a wee look in theirs. So this is a quick overview of their apartment. Uh, they've only been living here for about a day, so it's still all very blank and empty, and we have no money. There is a slight bit of Doctor Who memorabilia scarred about the place though, like on the upper floor there's the broken TARDIS that the Doctor just kind of lives outside of. Downstairs we actually have this interesting children's area because Clara is actually a daycare worker, meaning that children's come to our house when their parents are away working and having sex and all of that. Also we have a cat, because why not? Her name is Kizzy and she is a sassy bastard. Right, well, without any further delay, let's start this wild ride. We should be getting up sometime soon. I think I heard the cat piss itself. Oh no, it was just Peter Capaldi. He... Wait, what? He telekinetically placed urine on the floor and now Jenna Coleman's feeling unhealthy. That sounds like a bizarre euphemism. How is the cat, actually? Oh, the cat's just staying dandy. Look, he's got pedo specs in his speech bubble. Oh, she should be getting up now. Oh, honey, I know you've got a hangover, but you've got work to do. <laughs> the lights just explode on as soon as I press that. Oh, she's just... She is the face of depression, huh? <sighs> Careful, Hen, you'll get stretch marks. The hell was that? There's peeing noises all throughout this house, it's disturbing. Right, well, you'd best get dressed to. What? No! You do not go back to bed, you brainless twang. My apologies there, but the game sound was not recording, which is really unfortunate because I kept on hearing peeing. So, her and her massive breasts there, I have to get ready for work. What is that now? What is these freaky deaky noises? Is the cat playing with the toilet? Where is the cat? Well, the cat's just doing what cats do, being evil as usual. Destroying her precious can of Pepsi. Right, you, get down here. You, you just sit here with your bra, you bloody scrounger. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> No, hen. No, Clara. There, did you hear them? You hear them? They're up at it. They're having a whale of a time. Yes, I know you have to look after snot-nosed little shits, but... Don't worry, I'll let you go out tonight again. You and your mass breasts. You and your epic bedhead. Oh, what is she st what? Ah, good. Ah, pish. Tell that wee bastard there to stop that. Where's the Wains? Where's the children's? The they should be here. Ah, well, I, I guess I shall come back when the children's have come. The children's have come. Wait, wait. Ah. It appears the doctor is not the only telekinetic one of the family. Clara's fucking psychic now. Wait. They did not just dump them on the bloody floor of the lobby. The last time they at least brought them into the hallway here that... 
Oh, this, this, this is disgusting. I bet they threw her through the doors. Drive by shooting, except with children. Rather than guns, they throw babies at you. What? Oh, what? Oh, for fucking sake. They didn't even get this one through the doors. We're gonna need to call upon... We're gonna need to call upon the aid of Waffle Man. Pick up that bloody child, take it into the house. We're gonna give it the love its parents could never be arsed with. Uh, take your time, Pete. I'm sure there isn't a vulnerable toddler left on a pavement. He is a crap doctor. Alright, so the wind has been brought into the house, where they should have been to begin with. God's sake, Clara, you're meant to be taking care of it. Right, you get changed into your magnificent official outfit, Mr. Doctor. I spent all that time recreating it, you'll get some fucking wear out of it. Actually, no, that's right, you pissed yourself. Go for a wash. Christ, no wonder we get, like, you know, the worst parents in the world that come here. If this is a daycare, then this is fucking abhorrent. Yeah, have a smoke. Yes, this is a mod, by the way. You can get to own mod the Sims, just search cigarettes. She's literally having a smoke with these two viewings are in. She is the best. The best carer in town. What the fuck? Lady Armstrong! Right, well you can see right here. This is feeling calm for smoking cigarette and bloody smoke a cigarette. Literally, they made uh, the person that made it literally made moodlets for it, which is amazing. Look at this Wayne. I think this Wayne's a vampire. I'm not being racist, but you know she's yellow and she's got glowing eyes, and her arm can pass through her metaphysical body. There is actually vampires in this game, by the way, so I'm not just talking rubbish. Stop doing that. Stop playing with that toy! That toy car, you are a girl. We will enforce the gender norms upon you. He is literally just stoned in a room one some day. He really does need something. Oh! Do you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, she's been a terrible enough caregiver as it is. Fought in a sleep on the wanes, will not be any worse. Might as well have Peter then go and explore the tune, why not? You know, find some friends. Oh, no, ice cream! Never mind, that's about as far as we should go the day. Can the cat no interact with them? No, oh, I can. Well, that's a bit shit, you can only sniff them. See, Dan, he's... He's wanting to go play with his brick. After walking through solid matter. My god, the vampire's power is spreading. Oh, speaking of which, there's, there's Clara. Just casually floating there with her deformed feet. See, that's what happens when she wears the daft shoes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Well, he's having a merry time with that brick. As a matter of fact, I think the parents come and pick up the children at about six. Oh no, it's seven. So, in about a minute, we'll see the bastard parents that just chuck their wains at us. Capaldi, put down your brick two minutes and feed them. End of the day report. Okay, good, it was better than how they came. It's just seven the new, but already we're getting the report. So it finishes early then. Well, that's not very fair. Peter Capaldi didn't even get the chance to stick his bottle in their mouth. He—he's autonomously smoking a fag. That is brilliant. That's true, Capaldi, right there. Playing with a brick and then having a quick fag break. Yeah, blew it. Oh, he. <gasps> He's that fucking celebrity! 
who stole a drink the other night. It says we and of course they've got the same t-shirt. Well who the fuck's the owner of this wee tyke? Jesus Christ, no, not here, not here. Not in front of the parents, get away. Oh, this'll be the vampire child's mother. She's yellow too. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now you look like you're laughing at her for being yellow. Oh, aye, she's all love and affection now. Can we hit her? We need to sort this glitch. Anyway, no, you're not going to bed. I promised your little lady here that we'd be going out. So the place we are visiting tonight is the Bridgeport Sports Dome. I don't really want to go there, but it's where we went on our first night, and so, you know, we have a good feel of the place. It's shit. So I guess we're just going to have a wee walk there. He's trying to overtake her. She's undermining his masculinity. Oh dear. The frame rate just taking it right up the arse. <laughs> right, get in the lift. Give advice. Order cheesecake. This bitch is greedy. You're going to a bar, not a fucking Kentucky Fried Chicken. Give advice though. And that would be what Peter Capaldi would do. He would walk up to a bartender and tell them how he knows more about their job than they do. Meanwhile, Jenna Coleman just stands there and gets cheese. Jesus. Look at the facial hair on that. Bloody hell. Look at them. I didn't even make the, this person. It was spawned by the game. I love the shaved head on her and all. She looks a bit like Natalie Portman in V for Vendetta. Is this what she has today after Star Wars destroyed her acting career? Click her right in the tits. Demand your cheese. Just what is Jenna Coleman without cheese? Oh my god, there's another person here tonight. Look at this fucking reject. Jesus, even worse for the side. Oh, oh, oh god, no. She's gonna break somebody's neck. Compliment cleverness. Aye, that would be something that they would do too, would they? Oh, you're so clever, Doctor, but you're old and pishy now. I do not want to have my way with you anymore. Asked to go in. No, he does not want to go in. This place is crap. His breaths are minuscule. There's literally nobody else here. Oh, this is a sad place. This'll be bringing back uh, Clara's depression. Somebody else here? No, it's the Bincer. There is nobody but them two. This is tragic. At least last night we got harassed by a celebrity. Wasn't it nice, but at least something was happening. Oh, who's she? She's a celeb. Can we hit her? It impressed? This is Peter Capaldi or like the doctor. They don't impress, they kick ass and chew bubblegum. He, he needs to take his frustrations out on somebody. Talk about her family. Be a general bastard. He's calling her a space cock. Kiss my sweaty balls, you fat fuck! Yes, make fun of her clothes. Black is so off. Look at my fabulous outfit. The fans love it. Well, that was a pish night. Jesus Christ. He should invite her around sometime. Well, that's all we have time for today. It was a wild day of love, loss, and horrid fucking parenting. So stay tuned for the next part. Bye.